Let's talk about belief. There are two sides to belief when it comes to success. One of those is the simple belief, I'm going to be successful. I've got this ambition. I'm the CEO, I'm the leader. I'm going to be successful. This business is going to be successful. Okay, that energy that you bring from that belief can really push you forward. But then there's other beliefs that also equally can hold you back. And these beliefs can come from habits, routines, and ways of working that have just strengthened so much in your past that they become beliefs. Like beliefs that can be challenging are things like, well, you know, I need to work 60 hours a week. My success comes from working 60 hours a week. Um, let me tell you a story about how beliefs be can become limiting, how previously they've been successful and how at certain points in your career, those beliefs can be absolutely limiting and things that you should let go of. So I'm working with a CEO at the moment. and His belief has been so far in his career that his success has been built on keeping the business spinning, spinning the plates in the business, that he can keep many plates spinning, right? That's his superpower. His business is spinning plates as the CEO, keeping all his divisions under control. No, don't get me wrong, this business is very successful and he's been very successful through this strategy, spinning plates. And his business is set to double this year. The challenge with that is, of course, double the size of the business, double the size of the number of plates that need to be spun. When you start to believe that you see your business as a series of spinning plates, that can also then be quite limiting because you're ultimately creating more work for yourself. So we shifted his belief pattern into something very different. We shifted his belief pattern into becoming a air traffic controller, sitting in the tower at the airport, with his coffee, watching planes taking off and landing. All he's simply doing is orchestrating the journeys of these various aircraft. He's not responsible for that aircraft. The pilot is. The pilot's responsible for the destination, for the fuel, for all of the details. That's not his job. His job is just to make sure that pilot knows where they're going and that they're going to get there safely, that they can take off and land safely. That's his job as a CEO has become his belief. And that belief has transformed how he works, how he turns up, how he manages his team, because he's no longer looking for spinning plates. He's looking for aircraft that can take off and run themselves. That's his end goal. And the shift in that belief, even just the way he talks about what he does, it's been incredibly empowering for him, not only for his business in terms of People are a lot, much more empowered and are doing the jobs they should be doing. But all from a personal point of view, I mean, which of those two sounds more fun? Do you want to be an air traffic controller watching these planes taking off with a nice coffee? Or do you want to be that person out there constantly spinning plates? Right? It's an obvious choice when you put it into those terms. So one of the exercises I like to do with the CEOs that I work with is for them to list their beliefs, the beliefs that have made them successful so far. Why are you so successful as a CEO? List me the beliefs behind that. And then we can go through and we can examine those beliefs. We can step back and have a look at them to see if they're true now. Obviously, they were true before, but are they true now? And do you want them to be true in the future? By taking these beliefs, stepping away from them and just examining them, you can understand if that's belief, a belief you want to take on or you want to change for the future. Of course, beliefs can be changed, but that takes time. And it takes a willingness to want to change these beliefs. And by examining them, you can see both the good of them and the bad of them in those sorts of situations. You're taking a step back and you're having a look. So do that exercise. Go make a list of the beliefs that you believe have made you successful so far and start to question them. Which ones are serving you well? Which ones are not serving you well anymore? And then you know what to do. All right. Thank you very much for your time and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.